and welcome to my first English video. Today I will show you my reactor and turbine control program which is now available in a version 2.0 and yeah it now supports English language so I am making an English video. First of all you need um, to, to control a reactor and some turbines you need a reactor of course and at least one or up to 16 turbines attached. The reactor and the turbines um, must have um, one reactor and um, the turbines a turbine um, computer port and you need to attach a wired modem to it. And of course um, don't forget to switch it on. Next you need um, one, uh, uh, kind, one kind of energy storage this can be um, a vibrant or any capacitor bank from NDIO. This can be um, one of the energy cells of thermal expansion. Or in version 2.0 you now have the option to attach um, one of the draconic evolution energy cores to it. In this case you have to um, put the modem on one of the energy pylons. Um, of course, this um, modem here has to be um, switched on as well. And last but not least, you need a monitor and a computer. The monitor can be connected uh, via a modem too, but you can also um, just put the monitor uh, directly next to the computer. Of course, the computer uh, has to... Um, yeah, the computer needs a modem too and also has to be switched on. Um, the monitor must be 7 in length and 4 in height, so um, the program will um, yeah, be able to show everything correctly on this screen. If you do anything wrong, don't worry, the um, computer will throw an error message um, so you uh, which tells you to make it seven in height, uh, seven in length, and four in height. So let's get started. How to install this program? This is pretty straightforward. Um, you can uh, just download the paste bin link. Um, of course, the code is below in the video description, and you just have to type in paste bin get the code and installer update. This is uh, being downloaded and you just have to run it once and you get uh, a little nice little text which tells you um, what to um, yeah what to do a little description and uh, what you have to set up to uh, let the program work properly it'll ask you to uh, label the computer this is just um, so the programs won't be lost if you uh, accidentally or break the computer. Um, now you see in the Weiler buff, this is the blue um, screen you can see here, um, it's an advanced computer. I recommend you to use an advanced and an, a computer and an advanced monitor. And if you label it, it will uh, automatically change it to turbine computer. Next it will ask you if you want to add a startup, so the program will run if you uh, reboot the computer by itself. And um, you can ignore this. This is a bug. <laughs> and um, yeah, now the install uh, installation is complete, and you just have to reboot the computer um, manually once. You can just type in reboot or um, press Ctrl and R for a second or so. And now the computer is um, updating itself and switching into um, yeah. The main menu. This is um, set to German by default, but you can simply um, switch it to English if you press the English button. And yeah, that's it. You have um, in the main menu you have some options where you can uh, set up um, how the program works before you can uh, before to start the actual program. Uh, on the right hand side you. Um, can um, set up if this screen should be displayed when the computer um, starts 
um, it's default, it's um, switched on, but if you switch it off, the, pro, uh, the computer will just start the program directly. Um, the button uh, below it is if you want um, to let the program update it by itself. Um, this can also be switched on and off by um, clicking this button. If you switch it off, the computer will no longer um, auto update itself and you have the option to update it, man if, uh, update it manually by pressing this update button. Yeah, the program will update it and now starting the program, but we don't want this right now. On the left side, you have to um, you have the ability to um, switch the program mode. It has two uh, modes: the automatic and the manual mode. In automatic mode, the um, reactor will just um, run by itself, and um, yeah, it is um, switching on and off itself and the turbine. So you have all um, enough energy in your um, energy. Uh, um, cell or whatever um, to yeah, run your machine smoothly. Um, below it you have three um, more options. One to um, go directly to the options. Um, I will show you this later. To terminate and quit the program and to reboot the computer. If you um, start the program in automatic mode the program will um, calculate the um, best yeah, reactor and uh, setup. This includes the fuel rods um, inserted into the reactor and it will set it up by itself. Um, you can see here it's currently setting the fuel rod level um, down until you reach the target steam output. This is just um, yeah, how many turbines you have uh, set up and um, every turbine needs 2,000 millibuckets um, steam per tick and the reactor is um, setting itself up until it's finished. Next, um, the program will um, get the turbines up to uh, 1,820 RPM. Um, this is the optimal uh, level for the turbines to produce most RF per tick. Um, yeah, this is just mostly uh, taking a while, especially if you set it up the first time. And here the program will show you how uh, the current speed of each turbine you have um, set up is. And yeah, you have three little red dots if um, the uh, turbine is currently um, at lower speed than it has to be. And the green OK will be there if um, Yep, the program, uh, the turbine is at the target speed of 820 RPM. Yeah, this will take just a second. Um, and yeah, we'll wait just a moment for the turbines to get to speed. Now you can see this little, little green OK behind the turbine. And if all turbines are at speed, um, the program is ready. And yeah, this is the main screen of the program. On the left side, you have um, first of all the current energy, which is stored in your energy cell or capacitor bank, um, with a little um, yeah, graphical display here. Next, you have an, uh, the current RF production of all of the turbines together which is, um, um, in my case, about 80, uh, 48,000 or if a tick. Um, next, it will show you if the reactor is currently online or offline, and the current fuel consumption of the uh, reactor, and how many steam it is currently producing. Next, it will show you one of the um, turbines you can set up on the right. Um, by default, it's the first turbine, which um, um, is displayed here in, as green button. If you want to switch it, just click one of the other turbines and it will change to the um, turbine you have clicked on. 
Um, above the buttons, you have one a little display how many turbines are currently um, set up. The turbine um, display will show you if the coils of the turbine are currently engaged or disengaged, the current rotor speed of the turbines and how many RF it is currently producing. You can see now that um, the program has turned the reactor off and disengaged the coils of all turbines. This is because um, the program um, is running um, based on energy on the energy level you have in your in your energy storage. This is by default set to 90 and 50 percent. This means the reactor is um, switching on um, and engaging the turbines coils if you have less than 50 percent um, energy in your uh, energy storage and it's switching itself off in the turbine and disengaging the turbines coils if you have more than 90% energy. You can um, adjust this um, to any value you'd like. For this you just go into the options menu and you can see here you have a number of options you can um, yeah, set as you like. First, The first two um, options is to yeah, just set uh, some uh, yeah, the background and the text color of the program. This is default um, blue and white. If you want to change this, just click on one of the um, options. And now you have all of the colors you can choose. For example, if you choose gray, you can see a little preview here, which is um, saying you how, um, yeah, which, where you can see how it will be changed to. And if you go back, you will see here the background color will be changed from blue to gray, but this only um, applies when you click hit the save button. This is um, so you cannot ex ex uh, accidentally change anything you don't want. The, these two options, uh, reactor off and reactor on, is what I just told you a few seconds ago. The reactor is switching every, everything off above 90% and below 50% everything on. This can be changed too if you just hit the buttons and yeah you can hit these um, buttons if you want to change it. It will be switched off at 80% or at um, 0% which does make, doesn't make sense at all. Um, but you can change it. The same with um, reactor on. You want um, always between um, for example 70 and 80% you can change this. Here also will be a little display that if you hit the save button it will be changed from 50 to 70 percent. The last button delete config is um, if you have set up ev everything um, as it is and you want to um, add another turbine for example um, you should delete the config file because um, the reactor will then again change and uh, calculate everything, so you you have um, so it will run at optimal efficiency. You, you can if you go back to, to the program, you will just um, show this display again, and now I will cho show you the manual mode. You can just um, click here the uh, small buttons for the mode. And here you have um, a little reduced uh, display. We'll um, show you the energy and the RF production and the fuel consumption and the, the rotor speed of the current turbine. And now you have the ability to manually switch on the reactor, for example, or switch it off and um, switch the current turbine on or off or engage or disengage the coils. It'll um, always um, change the, the settings for the current turbine, which is currently turbine 1. Um, and if you click on turbine 2, for example, you can set it for turbine 2. If you switch back to automatic mode, it will automatically change everything um, as it was for the automatic mode and will 
um, yeah, run at um, the calculated settings again. Yeah, that's pretty, uh, um, that's so much everything for me, uh, for the program. Um, you have um, uh, also here the, uh, the ability to reboot the computer um, from this, um, yeah, from the program directly if anything goes wrong or the, um, yeah, if there's any error or something like this. And you can create the program from the main menu and now um, you, you will get a little error message you can which you can ignore yeah this is it from this video i hope you um, liked it and i hope my english wasn't that hard to understand um, yeah this is what my program does um, check it out for yourself uh, links and all necessary information will be in the video description below. For now, um, I will thank, thank you for watching this video and see you next time.